Alrighty, so we're going to be back with the E38 today, and as you can see, we have some problems. Don't mind me, I'm just driving. I'm trying to make you guys too car sick here, but we have a shitload of warning lights on. The trifecta, as some people call it. We have the dynamic stability control light, the brake light, and the anti-lock brake light. So, those like to call that a trifecta. I like to call that uh, the thing from Zelda, the Triforce. Okay, in all seriousness, um, I don't think it's going to be as bad as this uh, makes it out to believe. As opposed to several different codes causing these lights to come on, I reckon it's one code causing them all to come on. So, we'll get the old scanner out and plug it into the round serial port under the hood and see what we have going on and then attempt to fix it. See you under the hood. All right, so let's go ahead and diagnose BMW. On X3. And I suspect what we're gonna have is something to do with that down there, either the wheel speed sensor or that ring, if you remember when I did my, uh, my, uh, wheel bearing job, I had to transplant that ring. But I did clean that sensor, I remember. I don't remember if I cleaned the other one on the front or not. Um, it could also be a problem with this ABS module, because I do recall that little trifecta came on once before... Uh, over the winter time, actually, it came on for like a day when it was extremely cold and then it seemed to have fixed itself. It was right when I started the car it was on, kind of like what it did this time when it was extremely hot. So, we'll see if I need to replace that or uh, disassemble this and go inside there and see what's doing. Alright, let's head to Dynamic Stability Control. One code, wheel speed sensor, front left, transmits no signals. Code 21 on the ABS system. Okay. The transmission code at all? No. Okay. Oh, the steering angle sensor. Code 09 says so the fault code is not found in the database. Interesting. Huh. What if that means? Maybe I'll Google it and be right back. Okay, well, the internet was no help, uh, so I pulled this dude off. Well, I pulled this dude off of that. There's six T20 Torx bits that hold it in place three on this side and three on that side. Everything on here looks fine. Everything in here looks fine. Nothing loose, nothing falling out, nothing obviously damaged. All those pins and connectors look fine. So I don't know, maybe it's not the ABS, maybe it's, uh, it is that uh, the sensor not transmitting a signal. For whatever reason, I didn't really feel like jacking the car up and pulling the wheel off. I figured taking the air box out and that was easier. Uh, I don't think it saved me any time. And whether it's easy or not is debatable, so... But clearing the code didn't do anything. And this doesn't obviously look busted, so... I guess I'll put it back on, I'll do a little more research before I decide if I want to have this thing rebuilt. Or if I want to try to pay like the 20, 40, 80 or whatever the hell it costs for one of those ABS wheel sensors and... See if that's what the issue is. Because we're looking at one of three things, right? We're really looking at this guy's busted. And it's not receiving the signal. It's the uh, sensor itself is busted, not transmitting the signal, or that little ring that I replaced, well, that I transplanted from my old wheel bearing onto that cheap $28 one, uh, somehow not spinning properly or maybe fell off or something and isn't, uh, isn't giving a signal to that wire. So it's going to be one of those three things. But I guess I'll slap this back on right quick, put the air box back on. I'll attempt to clear the code again since this has been dismantled now 
Actually, what would be even better is maybe I should try to read the codes again with this thing completely disconnected and see if I get any extra codes or no codes. Let's try that real quick. All right, so we're scanning that module. We'll see what we come up with. Fault. Failure to communicate. Okay, so obviously that's because it's not attached anymore. Hmm, I wonder what would happen if I plug that into that. But that's not attached to that. Let's find out. Okay, we've ever so gently plugged that into that, and it's kind of chilling there. While we do another scan, and we'll see uh, what this thing says, if anything. Still failure to communicate with the ECU. Alright, let's plug it back together then. Okay, so I kind of finagled that on there a little bit more. And now we have communication. So let's see what we got. So now we got three codes. Wheel speed sensor, transmitting the phone signals. Pre-charging pump. Wheel speed sensor, rear right, transmits those signals. Hmm. Okay. So, that's obviously because it's not plugged in, so... I'm going to plug it back together, I'm going to reset the codes, and then we'll see if anything's changed. And then if so, then we've narrowed down, it's probably the sensor then. Because these codes weren't here before, now they are that this is mangled. So it does communicate with it, so... That's probably not what's busted. Okay, so I cleared the codes, still disconnected, and then I... Scanned it again immediately after disconnecting. Now it says no message from EGS control unit. Okay, so this thing is working. And the only reason it's not now, it's getting all these weird codes, is because it's uh, unplugged. So we're going to put it back together, scan it again, clear the codes, and see if it stays what it's doing. Or if that, uh, that wheel sensor code comes back. Okay, so that's back together, plugged in. I got my six T20 Torxes back in. And I just scanned the module again. Let's see what we got. That was that, uh, that last one. This will be sensor front left transmits no signal. Okay, let's try to clear them. And see, now notice the wheel sensor one wasn't on there when that was unplugged. So we might legit have a bad wheel sensor. Succeeded to clear the codes. Okay, turn the lights off though inside the car. Now well, they're still on. So if I scan it again, I bet you that code's still gonna be there. That code's not gonna clear just like it didn't before. And there it is. Wheel speed sensor front left transmits no signals. Okay, so we just have a legit bad wheel sensor. I guess I'll go ahead and buy one of those and then uh, I'll do a separate video on that. Uh, replacement. So, actually, you know, before I do that, maybe I should pull mine off and just inspect it, make sure everything's good to go with it. I'll leave this as its own video, though, and then I guess the next video will be uh, either I unplugged and plugged it back in and it worked, or I uh, messed with that ring and it worked, or I just ordered a new one. So, uh, we'll just leave this video as the uh, how to diagnose your Triforce dilemma on your BMW, and then uh, go ahead and call it, wrap this one up. So, all right, that's it, guys. That's how you diagnose your uh, Triforce. Joking, your uh, Trifecta light uh, for the ABS, the dynamic stability control, and your brake light. All right, using that's using our uh, our BM2 iCarsoft code scanner. So, all right, that's it for this video, guys. Catch you in the next one when we finally do this repair. Thanks for watching. Peace.